Who likes a good Disney sale? Just an 80s boy and a 90s teen Going on all things Disney From miles to parks and in between Come share the magic with me La 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 Live your life to a Disney tune Come and share Jake's Disney Afternoon Hi everybody, welcome back to Jake's Disney Afternoon. My name is Jake. If you're returning here, I want to thank you for choosing to spend another afternoon with me. And if you're new, we do pins, shopping hauls, subscription boxes, lots of vintage Disney. And if that's of interest to you, maybe you would consider subscribing and returning a little Disney magic back to me. On to the haul, because that's really why we're here, to see how I spend my money. Life is like a So Disney is having its twice upon a year sale, which is usually great deals. Uh, and I went down to the Disney store uh, in Times Square just a few days ago. If you didn't get a chance to check out that video, I'll link it somewhere uh, and you can go and check it out. Um, so everything I did get was on clearance or on a sale of some kind. And uh, I want to start with this bag, um, which was not on clearance. Um, but was one of their newer bags, um, their disposable bags, or reusable bags, rather. Um, I love these bags. I don't know why I'm obsessed with reusable bags, but this one is super cute. It kind of has this sort of 80s retro feel with the hot pink, black, and teal, uh, and sort of features classic Mickey and Minnie on the side here. Lots of fun details. And in keeping with that, so that's sort of a smaller bag, I got the large reusable tote, uh, which I believe is one of the newer designs. At least it was new to me since the last time I was there over the Christmas holiday. So this features the Fab Five, Daisy, Mickey, Goofy, Minnie, and Donald, and kind of sort of that uh, ink and paint style sort of drawn you can see in the background there's some sketches uh in sort of loose pencil lines uh and then even the full color image itself sort of features those loose colored in lines it's a really giant bag i love taking these shopping uh, i don't know about your area but we have to bring reusable bags with us here in new york city and so uh i like to go out with a little bit of disney style all right let's see what else we got in here Okay, so this line is new to me. Um, I've seen a few people with this, but these were on clearance. Uh, I thought a good price. This toy box line. So here we have Peter Pan. Peter Pan is one of the things that I collect. Um, this is a great sort of um, figure. It has joint movements. Um, I remember when I was a kid, uh, I had a Disneyland or Disney World playset. Uh, I'll put a picture somewhere, um, and maybe we'll talk about that another day. And it came with Pooh, Snow White, one of the dwarfs, Tigger, and m maybe Mickey and Minnie. Uh, and I wanted them desperately to make a Peter Pan figure. Now, they were not this big, but I am sort of thrilled to have this in the collection. Um, and of course, with Peter Pan, you gotta have Captain Hook. So here's the Captain Hook figure uh, that goes along with this. Um, Captain Hook comes with his sword and a hat. Uh, and then Peter Pan has his pan pipes in there that have kind of come loose. Um, According to this, if you look on the back, I don't know if these came out in waves, I'm assuming so. There was Goofy and Donald also, but then I, as I was there at the Disney store today, there were, there's a Sorcerer Mickey I wanted and a few other figures, um, not on clearance. These were $7.98 each, which I thought was a pretty good deal for those. A uh, couple things that have already been in circulation since I've been back were some mugs that they had on clearance and... Uh, I love this mug. I love this retro uh, Mouseketeer Mickey Mouse Club. D 
design. Um, not a big fan of red usually, but um, this this has all the feel. Just has a solid red inside um, with the classic logo. It says official Mouseketeer, and then classic Mickey ears on the back. And this was, I think, eight ninety eight, which pretty good deal for a mug. And then the other I got as um, as a gift. This is more of like a, sort of a uh, I don't know, a, a takeaway cup. It's got the removable lid. Uh, but it features Belle in this purple and gold design. I love Beauty and the Beast. Um, this is one of my other things that I collect. And on the back, there's a silhouette in um, in purples in that same sort of lavendery purple hue. And it says, Beauty is found within. Uh, and of course, it comes with the... Um, silicone cap uh to keep everything in there and this also was i think 8.98 i think all of the mugs on the display rack were um were 8.98 which you know was was a pretty good deal so moving along uh so this was a really really great deal um i love collecting the ornaments i bought a whole bunch at the top of this season at full price partly because i didn't want them to be sold out of them um, and, uh, then I bought a bunch more at the end of the Christmas season. And then, uh, they had a few more that were even cheaper yet. And, um, I love Oliver and company. So here's Oliver and Dodger carrying the hot dogs that they stole from the hot dog vendor. Uh, this was three ninety eight. I mean, come on, three ninety eight for a Disney ornament. Um, Sort of a simple figure compared to some of the more elaborate ones they put out, especially this season. Um, but I really like it all the same. Very cute. It'll go in the Christmas bucket. And uh, when we get to December, we'll do a uh, an ornament haul. All right, moving into the bag. So I normally don't collect a lot of plush. Paid no mind to that over there. But in there are rules about what um what I might collect but this guy this guy was 598 and I just threw him in the basket um without a second thought he's a cute little butterfly i'm finished finally i'm a beautiful butterfly all right, well, maybe i'm not into voices uh but you know who this is this is heimlich from a bug's life I don't know, Bug's Life, uh, I really like A Bug's Life. It's a cute movie, um, very original, um, very early 2000s. Um, but he's kind of a big plush, um, super cute. But for $5, yeah, look at that face. I wasn't going to pass him up for $5, so he came home with me. I don't know where he'll go. Um, I really don't have a giant Bug's Life collection, but um, yeah, he'll go somewhere. I did get a few pins while I was there. Um, so I have uh, a bunch of the Legacy Collection pins that they had uh, released. I have a few back there, just right there on the pin board. And um, I didn't have this one. This was $9.98, I think, originally. $15.99, so a pretty good price. Uh, this is the Pocahontas Legacy pin. Um, this is the, uh, just around the river bend scene. You've got Miko and Flit and of course Pocahontas in her boat. Um, this is a slightly smaller pin than the other, um, than the other legacy pins. This was for the 25th anniversary, which makes me feel a little bit old. Um, but I, I love this and this will go on the board with the other legacy pins. Do you collect the legacy pins or? If you do, tell me which ones you have down in the comments below. And then the other pin set I got um, was this. Let me take it out of the plastic. Can I take it out of the plastic quick? Yeah, because it'll glare. Um, I love Alice in Wonderland. Uh, I know a lot of people don't, um, but it's one of my favorites. Um, and they had this three pin set, which was on clearance $8.98 uh, for three pins. And... You've got the Queen of Hearts, one of my absolute favorite villains there. You've got the Doorknob, 
classic. I have the ornament of him. Did anyone else get the ornament this season? And then, of course, you have Alice in the drink me glass when she finally goes through uh, the doorknob. This is um, this is a really great set. Nice pins. Uh, all single card back. You can see, or all single pin back here. I don't know if this was um, part of some other larger collection. I love the um, I love the bottle pin uh, card back that goes with this. And uh, three pins for eight ninety eight is a really good price. Um, okay, so the last thing I got. This is the most extra thing you could possibly get. Um, I love these journals. They are like way over the top. Um, so it's a pretty big journal. Uh, of course, Pinocchio. Uh, this was on clearance for $17.98 down from $29.99. A uh, couple of clasps here. It opens just like the storybooks. Um, and it kind of has a little, uh, a little inscription here talking about uh, the grand storybook and how a lot of the Disney films opened with that iconic image. Uh, here we have one of the opening images uh, of just before Jiminy Cricket sings When You Wish Upon a Star as we're going into the film. Um, and then it's got these blank pages, uh, really nice journal pages. You've got Geppetto and Pinocchio and Figaro down there. And then up at the top, you've got Cleo. And uh, I think there are a, are there a few, are there other images in here? Oh, and then on the, oh, uh, I didn't see this. On the other page, uh, down in the corner, you have uh, Jiminy Cricket on the opposite page. So you have those designs here that I showed you before. And then on the opposite, on the left side pages is the, um, is Jiminy Cricket. I thought there were other pictures in here. Maybe some of them do and some of them don't. Oh, there's one right here at the very end, uh, sort of sort of when Pinocchio becomes a real boy. You can see he's not without the uh, joint marks. Um, so I bought this. Uh, this is going to be my journal for planning YouTube videos. I wanted something fun and Disney-inspired to jot down ideas uh, for videos and for content that I'm getting so that I'm organized. Uh, and look, this is the most extra way you possibly could do it. Uh, why not use one of these big journals for that? So that's my Disney shopping haul. There's a little bit of everything there. Um, I don't remember what the grand total was, but like 50 or 60 bucks for all of that, which I think is great. I also got a little extra off for using my Disney uh, um, Visa card. Uh, so that always helps. If you have one of those, bring that to the store with you and you do get the 10% off of most of the discounted items. So each of these were uh, another 10% off of that. Thank you for coming along for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would give this video a thumbs up, it would really help me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click down below. It's an easy and free way to uh, show your support and thanks for the videos. And I really look forward to seeing you on another Disney afternoon. Bye. Hope to see you back real soon, sharing in Jake's Disney afternoon.